best friends. So you guys know who Makeup Sheila is, right? Well, if you don't, here's her Instagram. She is a makeup influencer. And I know it's her hair. And so this is the pictures that I saw that I fell in love with her actual hair texture and her hair color. Now, mine's look a bit brassy on camera. I'm not sure as to why, but it's not. It's actually like a light golden brownish blondish like in between I loved her hair texture I love how easy and effortless her color job was and I just wanted to recreate it I just feel like I'm in love with brown colors and hair right now so you guys will see me do a lot of highlighted hair tutorials or brown tutorials coming up I feel like brown works with any skin tone and it works for any season so I decided that you know let's let's push some brown tones out you know you feel me but anyway this hair is from Cinesaur this is their water wave hair the longest length I have is 28 inches and if you guys want to see how I got my hair color this way then keep watching bye best friends so the longest lengths I have are 28 inches. I have two 28s, a 26, a 24, and a 20 inch closure. If you want to see how I make my wigs, I will leave a video at the end of this video for you guys to watch. All right. So I'm gonna use one box of my Revlon 57 Color Silk Express 9 Blonde Me and 30 Volume Developer. All right, so this is what my hair looks like. It's very curly to be water wave because water wave was usually more looser than this. But basically I'm saying or showing you on here is that um, it's going to go into a gradient effect. So it's going to be the 1B and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to go into like a um, dark chocolate kind of looking brown. And then it's going to go into the lighter brown. So um, that's what I'm doing right here. Basically, I decided that I was just going to just bleach out the ponytail. And so you want your consistent a little bit runny because it's easier to go through each hair strand so you won't have to do another bleach, all right? So I only had to bleach this one time. And so I'm going to go through the ponytail and apply the bleach with my hands. Just make sure that I massage it in there. You want to be very thorough with this. Again, you don't want to have to go in and bleach another time. But if you do want it lighter, you can leave your bleach on uh, longer than I did. I think I left mine on for about like 25 minutes. Um, I did use heat. You will see me use heat. And um, I left the heat on there for about five minutes and and then I let it just process so if you do want a lighter you could just leave it on a bit longer I think um, for bleach it's about 45 minutes until it stops processing um, a lot of I see a lot of you guys put bleach on your hair but you're not using a, enough bleach so you want to make sure that you are heavily saturating your hair because you do not want your bleach to dry out because if it does dry out it's going to stop processing early alright so just make sure that you're using enough bleach Make sure that your hair is thoroughly saturated. Do not be stingy, all right? Just apply that bleach. And after I apply all the bleach on there, I'm going to make sure that um, my blend is not harsh. So I am going to feather up the bleach a little bit up so it could just blend in better. Um, and I am going to let it process. feather it up and I make sure that everything is blended I'm going to take a plastic bag and my processing cap or my blow dryer cap and I have one for my natural hair and I have one for my wig and I like to use this cap because of the fact that it just helps dry my wig super fast or it helps me process my hair super fast so I like to put it on warm and I'll let it go for about five minutes and let it process and once it's processed this is what it's gonna look like like I said you can stop at this tone or you could go even higher rinse it out wash it and then um you know apply your bleach again but that was perfect for me that was a tone i wanted and so basically this revlon color silk 
I was going to put in the between the 1B and the, the bleached hair because I wanted like a chocolate gradient effect. So I did not leave this color on my hair for a long time. Um, I just help, it just helped blend it, blend the two colors together. So I'm going to pour part A, which is the color, to part B, which is the developer. I'm not sure what... Um, um, level the developer is in here it didn't say it on a box but I really didn't care so I just put it on my hair as you see I'm putting it on a brown part and then I'm gonna um, like feather it down into the bleach area because I just want a nice seamless gradient effect and so like I like to use my hands because it just makes the whole situation of application faster and I'm just massaging that color into my into the wig and I'm gonna just use the entire bottle I really didn't eat the entire bottle so because I was only using it for this specific area so next time I know like if I was gonna do this I'm gonna just use half the bottle and pour half the contents out into a bowl and then do it that way instead of just wasting all of that product because I did waste it but I you I poured everything onto the wig so I guess I didn't waste it but I felt like I wasted product so I'm going to just apply that on to the wig and then after I do that I am going to go in with my Pantene Pro V and I am going to put that on the the ends of the hair because I am going to go and put the wig back under the blow dryer cap. And so while it's processing I might as well just do like a little conditioner protein treatment because Pantene Pro V has protein in it. And I'm just going to let that process for about another 5 to 10 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out and wash it out. And if you guys are making wigs or wearing wigs, you definitely need a wig stand in your life and this blow dryer cap, okay? Like these are two essential things because I found like because I started using this blow dryer cap, it dries my wig so fast. Like I don't have to let them air dry. I just put the cap on them and then it'll be dry in about 15 minutes. And I love it. Like it just cut down my time, especially because I make wigs for customers and stuff like that. So it helps me get through making wigs super fast. So I would definitely tell you guys if you wear wigs and you have a lot of wigs or you interchange your wigs and you style your wigs you definitely need a wig stand and a blockhead and I will leave all of that information to where you can purchase those things down below alright um what else this wig actually took me about three hours to make uh, like from the beginning of creating the wig to it can doing the color to me being to the wig being completely dry it took about three three hours and that's actually really good for me and I am impressed by how the curl pattern just stayed or the wave pattern stayed in his hair especially after I bleached it and then did a color process on it as well so yeah you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any video ideas let me know down in the in the comment section and yes until next time bye best friends